So you want to get Optifine's features, but Optifine's not out yet. Or you're just looking for something else to use other than Optifine. And you've landed on this video, the Optifine alternatives for 1.21.5. Well, as you can see on your screen, you can still get shaders and you can a lot of times get even better performance using these alternatives. Then you'll actually get running Optifine itself. So whether you're looking to get shaders or just more FPS in Minecraft, this video is here to help you. And how we're going to be doing that is using our Not a Fine mod pack. Now, this mod pack is not the be all end all. There are other performance based mod packs out there, but our goal is to get Optifine parity, Optifine replacement based on fabric with better FPS than Optifine can provide. So that means you're able to get shaders, you're able to get all that while still getting connected textures, all of Optifine's features while getting better FPS. Now, that being said, all of these mods are linked in the description down below, including links to Notifine on both CurseForge and Modrinth. No matter which mod loader you want to use, you are able to do that, whether that is the Modrinth app or the CurseForge launcher. Notifine is available on both. With that being said, while a lot of the mods in this mod pack are linked down below, I would say like 80% of them, it's a lot. And because of that, I also wanted to show you how if you go to Notifine on CurseForge, you can go to Relations here and be able to see all of these individual mods that have been added to this mod pack. It's a great way to go through these, see what's in here, see it for yourself, and maybe you don't want all of these. Maybe you just decide you want sodium and iris shaders. That's okay. Maybe you decide you just want to get Bobby for whatever reason. You could get that, right? And download and pick and choose these and install them individually. The mod pack will install all of these. And in order to do that, we're going to be using the CurseForge launch. Launcher. In the description down below, there's an entire guide on getting Curse Forge that goes over everything you need to know. In-depth video, in-depth text guide, but the gist of it is click download on this page here and then go ahead and click on download standalone. That'll download the Curse Forge launcher and you can install it just like any other program. When you first open it, you'll go through a little bit of a tutorial and then you'll land here where all you've got to do is click on Minecraft and then standard continue. That's going to get Curse Forge ready for Minecraft mods. Up here at the top, go ahead and search for not a fine, N-O-T-I-F-I-N-E, hit enter, and there it is. Not a fine by the breakdown. Like I said, this is our mod pack, so we can go ahead and click install, and it will now go ahead and install. While this is installing, how much from our company's Simple Game Hosting? Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. On that server, you can easily add mods to it and play modded Minecraft with your friends quickly and easily. There's even one-click installation of hundreds of mod packs, including the Notifine mod pack. On top of that, there's expert live chat support there to help you out should you run into any issues along the way. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below description down below the breakdown to xyz says sgh and start your minecraft server the simple way nevertheless this is now downloaded we can see it up here at the top with play but you can also go to my mod packs and right here it is not a fine hover over it click play and the minecraft launcher will open now this will open in the minecraft launcher that you're used to using right it's going to be the same except it's launched through CurseForge, and because of that, you will need to log in again, but it's 100% safe to do that because it's the default Minecraft launcher. It's just opened up in a different way in order to have this mod pack easily installable. So as we can see here, we just need to go ahead and log in, sign in with Microsoft. I'm going to log in, and then once we have logged in, it's as easy as clicking on Minecraft Java Edition on the left-hand side. Notifying will automatically be selected there. You can go ahead and click play, click play again, and Minecraft will open. You can also set things in the CurseForge app that could be helpful when playing Minecraft with Notifying. To do that, you would come back over here to settings, click on Minecraft at the bottom, and then you can set your things like resolution as well as your RAM at the very, very bottom here as well. Notifying doesn't require much RAM. It can run on two gigabytes, no problem, but it is still worth mentioning that here as well, that you can add more RAM and change your resolution because if you're like me, you're gonna want a better resolution and things like that once you get in game. So here we are, we are in game and you can play Minecraft just as you normally would. You can launch a single player world and join right on into it. You can also go into options and video settings and enable and change a bunch of stuff here. Now, generally, these are actually good by default. However, if you have a lowering computer, you may want to lower down your render distance. You may also want to come into quality, make sure this is turned to fast, basically go through turning everything to fast and you know performance, things like that. All of this should be left the same. Come in here, turn all of the animations off. All of that can help with performance a lot, but a lot of times, even on lowering computers, out of the box, if you turn down the render distance a bit and set your quality to fast, you're in a pretty good spot. But you can also enable shape 
shaders pack. So if you go into shaders packs here, these are already here. It may or may not be enabled by default, depending on which mod loader you use, but we can go ahead and select, for example, makeup ultra fast or complimentary by clicking on apply. And now it's enabled. You can go into your shader pack settings, change these around if you want. For example, with the very low computer, you could turn it to very low. Or in my case, I'm going to leave it on the default settings of high there. And now once you jump in game, this is going to look amazing because we have shaders enabled. Let me show you. So shaders is enabled and look at that. The water looks amazing. You can see the sun, the clouds, beautiful out of the box experience that is available with Notifine. And like I said, Optifine features, Optifine capes work, Optifine texture packs work, all of that stuff as well, uh, because Optifine parity is the goal. And so, yeah, all that's enabled, all that's good to go, but just an amazing experience. And like I said, great FPS. So if we go ahead and open up F3, I'm getting over a hundred FPS while recording this video and running shaders. Amazing, out of the box. I didn't change any settings, didn't tweak anything. This is exactly as it'll be when you download it and you can get these settings with a, I mean, I have a decent computer, but no means the best out there. So nevertheless, that is how you can get Optifine alternatives for 1.21.5. And again, in the description below, we have links to all of this stuff. You can check them out individually, every single mod, pick and choose all of that. But Notifine just makes it so easy to get it all together. We wanted to provide this as a service to the community. And honestly, it provides better FPS most of the time than you will get without it. And that's true for other performances mod packs as well. Fabulously Optimized is another great performance-based mod pack that provides better FPS most of the time than Optifine. If performance is your goal, do not use Optifine anymore. It's just not the best option. But anyway, there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.